Welcome back. Today I want to reveal my all new blue collection. Now we have the yellow collection, have the red collection, and now we have the blue collection. You know, I've always liked Porsches. I'm not, I wasn't always into Ferraris. I had a 911 Turbo that was the 993 series. I've had Carrera GTs. I've had 918. So I've had different Porsches. I really like them. They're really strong for what they're doing. They're very strong engineering, very precise, very good cars. So I chose the color for this GT3 to be shark blue, which is a, a special paint and sample blue. So it's a very rare color, but you know, it was black inside, but I think the blue stitchings and the blue seat belts and those blue uh, vent uh, grills are really a, a accent that makes the car special. The GT3 is a rare engine car, uh, V6, and the uh, GT4R is a mid-engine car. There's more power in the GT3 than the GT4 RS, but really the GT4 RS is a, a track assassin. It really does well in the track because it's mid-engine. But I don't know, this, the 993s do really well too, even though being a rear engine, you just don't have to know how to drive it. As you can see, the, I did the, uh, what, what did they call this? There was a name for it, I forgot what it is. Henry Blue or something like that, but I don't know. I'll call it David Blue, although there's an official name, so. Yeah, some of you guys are going to say, uh, criticize me for that, but I'll say David Blue. Uh, with the, a lot of the uh, carbon fiber, also the, the blue stitching, and then, you, and then you got a little bit of touch of yellow, right, on the steering wheel, in the, in the kick seal here, which also brings it up. Oh, you got the yellow and the, and the brick caliber. So there's a, it's a touch of blue, black, and yellow. This Ford GT is amazing. You know, the newest series of this uh, limited edition Ford GT uh, that won at Le Mans all those years ago over Ferrari. But the good news is we are back in 2023. Ferrari is number one and number two at uh, 24 hours of Le Mans. But since they lost to this Ford GT, uh, they hadn't come back, right? They haven't uh, participated in Le Mans 24. Anyways, but this is a fantastic car. It's, uh, it's got the liquid blue. It's got the Carmen series, which is only 100 out of the 1300. And it's got the, the silver accent. So it's really, really cool car. So this uh, special tailor-made SF90 Spider that was uh, Inspirenzo, it's the, a special pre-designed car from Ferrari, which was a tribute to a 1969 365 2 plus 2. It's only one in the world. It's very special. And they uh, delivered it to me at last year's Pebble Beach. So this Rolls-Royce Phantom 7 was something that I bought for my father in 2005. There's been videos out on why I did that but this is also in my collection, in my blue collection. That's a hard question. These five cars always see besides the, the, the Rolls Royce will do super well on the track, right? Get the SF90 with a thousand horsepower, just just amazing on the track. You got the Ford GT, which is basically a race car as well. Then you got these two Porsches, which is uh, 911 and the GT4 RS are known for precision and they're tight in their turns and so forth. It, it would be a hard, it would be hard to pick. So as I said, my cars are tr track queens. Matter of fact, last Monday, I took my 1964 250 Lusso Competizione and my 296 GTB to Button Willow track. And, and tracked it all day. That's what I like to do. A lot of people say it's really valuable. Why would you do that? But hey, the experience is everything. So the next video is gonna be on my 812 competition Aperta Cavalcade uh, spec. So is the A12 going to join the blue collection? Is it the yellow collection or is it the red collection? Comment below and let me know.